Um, my name is Sean Kleindienst. I'm one of the founders of Cloudforce Analytics. Um, I'm the chief scientist. And uh, what that means is that I both participate in and ostensibly lead the teams that do uh, the diagnostics, write the diagnostics library, and uh, more recently have sort of moved into coordinating role in the onboarding tools team. I don't really think about it all that often. Uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's a funny question to answer because I have been in fields which are dominated by men for so long that I've, I fail to notice it anymore. We had one female um, co-op once who asked me to speak at her uh, women in engineering group uh, as a founder of a company. And uh, that was like the one and only time I actually sat down and thought about the fact that I was a female founder of a company. Um, uh, if I was to give advice to women in engineering or other STEM fields, which are uh, often dominated by men, uh, my advice is just to walk into every room like you belong there because you do. Um, and also uh, to not doubt yourself because if you don't doubt yourself, other people won't doubt you either. And uh, to just keep in mind that, you know, the, the guys are just as, as uh, nervous at starting out in new fields as, as you are. If you think that you would rather have known about the challenges, I actually think that's wrong because knowing all the challenges defeats optimism. That machine learning is going to fix everything. It's sort of like the, the popular idea is that these computers are so smart that if you just sort of give it the right algorithm and just sort of let it go on a database, it's going to do everything you need it to do. And you know, humans don't even really have to touch it, but <laughs> I think someone sent me a meme once, which was just sort of sprinkle a little machine learning on it. <laughs> that solves all your problems. Yeah, we're using machine learning in our continuously advancing onboarding um, automation tools, which is a really good application for it. But a lot of the things that we find in the diagnostics, I mean, they're, they're expert rules and physical equations and logic. And that's not to say that there isn't a place for some machine learning maybe in FDD specifically going into the future, but you can get at least 80% of the way there with no machine learning at all, so. Seven or eight, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm a complete like science fiction nerd and geek and stuff like that and, and you know fantasy and mystery and other genre type things and my pandemic hobby has been making small automatons. Um, I kind of wanted to get into music boxes but I think that requires precision metal work and I'm not really willing to, to go there but I like you know mechanical things and scientific histories and big Lord of the Rings fan. <laughs> the willingness to bash my head against the wall for as long as it takes to do something. <laughs> That's generally what it takes to be reasonably good at computer coding as well. So uh, I guess I'm doing the right thing. I like logic. I, I like the way that um, coding is about kind of solving a logic problem all the time that you're doing is how do I make this machine do what I want it to do? Um, so I enjoy things like that.